Friend of me, friend of me, any me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. All these next next just wanna be a mini me. Friend of me, friend of me. Welcome to another episode of Homestead Heroes. Uh, the archery season for deer ended yesterday. This will be an update on the food plot we put in. Uh, we got a great growth out of it. We have some huge radishes, got some huge brassicas, but the deer really didn't touch them. They ate the tops off of them a little bit. Uh, they're starting to eat the radishes now, which kind of sucks because season's over. Um, I don't know if I would plant these again. But the growth did turn out well, and I'll give you a look at what we're talking about. So you can see they've been nipping the tops. And it smells like absolute ass. Um, because what they do eat, they only eat partial so it leaves the rest out to rot. I mean, we've still got plenty of radishes. We've got some really big brassicas. And just to kind of recap how the season went, um, this is one of the weirdest seasons I believe I've hunted. Uh, same with my brother. We took the first week of November off. We stayed completely out of the plot. It was for the kids. So we didn't want to put any added pressure to it. Um, usually around here it snows on Halloween. We get those nice cold temperatures. The movement starts going. Well, no, it was like freaking 80 degrees the first week of November. It stayed warm all the way through. The weather's been extremely inconsistent. Uh, we didn't see nearly the deer we usually do. Um, here on the farm, we've got, there's a no hunting zone, one property over. And then the property between us is clearing out all of their hardwoods. And the property on the other side of us is like rebuilding their house. So even when you look at the videos of the deer that do cross through, none of them look comfortable. They all look nervous. They're all looking over their shoulders. So that may have had something to do with it. But around here, especially because the food is so hard to come across, to have, I don't know, half an acre of just nothing but food. And they didn't give two dams about it. So, I know that Jeff Sturgis always says brassicas, brassicas, brassicas because of the tonnage. That's great, but the tonnage don't mean shit if it's sitting there rotten in the spring. Here's the other side of the food plot. You can see, you can see all these rashes are still up. I mean, they're freaking huge. <clears throat> but the only thing they really ate off of them were the tops. I you can see the brassicas are starting to rot. It's only February.
and we're getting traffic through here i'm getting cell cam pics of deer crossing through we just went through some real cold temperatures went through some good snow it doesn't seem to make a difference So if I was going to redo this, uh, one, I wouldn't pick brassicas. Uh, I think I planted them entirely too early. I did the last week of August just because it was supposed to rain for two weeks in September, which gave me some great growth. But they matured too quickly, so they didn't really eat the tops on them. And when they did eat the tops on them, the season hadn't started. Uh, they really haven't touched the radishes. They really haven't touched the brassicas. The parts they have, they just nibble on. I do have some ginormous rabbits. Not really what I was shooting for. So I think next year we're going to shoot for clover. Thanks for watching. Now I knew you what I needed.